we're back in our beautiful suburban dream home as... Ew, get away, not you. Not you! Not you! Ah! Me, Dolores, the greatest mom of all time. But I have to be honest, I haven't really been happy in my marriage and I kind of want a divorce, but that's not really acceptable in these days. So I don't know what to do. There's a nuclear apocalypse! Perfect! I'm taking the children! Oh my god, it's a miracle! I'm taking the kids. I'm leaving. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I got the radio! Where's the hatch? There it is. That's right, husband. I'm leaving you! <laughs> I'm gonna be a single mom and nobody can stop me. Come on, daughter. I'm leaving your father. I've been very unhappy for many years. I'm so excited I never have to see him again. I never have to see him again. Come on, take stuff, take stuff. Stay. I feel like we are not getting enough food. We are not getting enough food. Take the water, take the water, take the water, take the water. Do we have enough time for anything else? Anything else? One more soup? What's this? A map! Yes! I mean, oh no, your father. My husband. Uh, our love was so real and pure. Day one, I'm so sorry, kids. I did everything I could to save your father. So here we are. The three of us are safe and sound. <laughs> I'm a single mom who works two jobs. I'm just gonna be the best mom this time. I know last time things didn't go so great, but they are my sole priority now. We really wish it was the four of us. I know, so sad. Uh, I just, I want wanted him to come down with us so bad. We can't remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. Hey, I did my best. Ooh, I don't have to feed the husband anymore either. Yes, there's so many perks already to being a single mom. This is the best stocked shelter we've ever seen. Yes, yeah, see, my husband was holding me back. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. Goodbye, husband. We are gonna survive this. I hear a noise. We've been smelling something funny in the shelter ever since we woke up. It's probably your father. May he rest in peace. <laughs> sure enough, there was something, something or someone started a fire. Oh my God, did he survive up there? Is he trying to get to us? And it's already spreading. We can't save everything. What do we save from the flames? Uh, save the radio. Of course save the radio. That was close. We were able to put out the fire and nothing seemed to be damaged. At least not very badly. Everybody's thirsty, but they're not dying yet, so we can wait. I forgot, somebody said I could either last four or five days. Oh, a bug! Oh my, that thing is huge! And there goes another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We already feel all dirty. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Okay, everybody can have water. We stumbled upon a weird signal when changing radio frequencies. We're pretty sure that behind layers of terrible static and screams, we could hear a voice. A voice speaking in a foreign language. Oh dear, what if it's the Soviets? We should probably listen to it. But what about the children? What about the children? Listen to it. What What does that mean? I like that we have a pet bug. I'm gonna call him Gerald. Hello, Gerald. Oh, it's a mutant cockroach. Oh, cute. We were relieved at first when we figured out it wasn't Soviets we heard. Turned out it was Canadians, which isn't that much better. <laughs> Damn. Either way, they're foreigners, and we couldn't understand what they were saying. Not a word. How disappointing. Day six. Quite hungry. Well, not starving, so nobody's getting anything. There it goes again. Noises. Weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes, walls? We should sit down and relax. Yeah, let's play checkers. Day seven. We still got Gerald. Hi, Gerald. What is this? <laughs> Who drew this? Timmy? Did you draw this? Because it's terrible. Okay, hungry and thirsty, but I don't think they're starving or dying. Having some fun made us forget about, what was it again? <laughs> Your dad? Um, I think I'm okay to wait one more day. I'm a little scared. It doesn't say starving. I think we're okay. Don't die, please don't die. Everybody's still alive, we're good. Dehydration, okay. Starvation. Okay, so you need both. You need water and you need water, okay. Day nine. How long did I survive last time? I think 10 days? We're already doing way better. It's because your father's not here. Okay, they're all just hungry. We're fine. We've discussed everything we could and no one is willing to chat anymore. The silence is really disturbing. We should do, okay. Yeah, we can put the radio on. That's fine. <gasps> Broken radio? Are you kidding me? What did you do? Oh, damn it. Something blew up inside the radio and it caught fire. Great, thanks guys. Okay, Tammy's the only one starving. So you can get some food. If there's one thing we need to do, it's to use a radio. Oh, well, that would be great. Okay, everybody needs water. Should I send somebody out? Nah, 
Not yet. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. What happened? Although they're a bit glowy, and we're pretty sure they spread diseases, we have no means of fighting those damn roaches. Damn it, Gerald! Gerald, did you make me sick? Oh, no. Gerald, how dare you? I mean, it was probably my bad for cuddling you at night, but I needed some companionship, okay? I just lost my husband. I'm devastated. Dolores got ill. All right, well, one of my children has to go out. <laughs> All right, Mary Jane, I'm gonna feed you. And then you're gonna go. Mary Jane's feeling excellent. Well, perfect, because you're gonna go on an expedition to find your mother some medicine. What's that glowing in your pocket, Timmy? Oh no, mutant ants! Great, Timmy. Their terrifying little mandibles almost gave Dolores a heart attack. She wants them out, but Timmy says it's the beginning of an atomic ant farm. One of them have to have, um, the mom? I am your mother, okay? You listen to me. Also, I'm dying from a radioactive bug. We don't need more. Blah, 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 blah. Your sister's gonna go get me medicine. No, I'm not looking so good. Mary Jane, get go find me medicine. On the topic of atomic ant farm, Dolores put her foot down several times. She swatted and stopped furiously. We only have room for Gerald, okay? We don't need ants. We haven't done anything about Dolores' sickness. She barely has any strength left. If she doesn't eat tonight, she will not last morning. Okay, fine. Blah, 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 blah. Everybody's gonna eat, okay? Okay, and Mary Jane's gonna go outside and we're gonna give her a map to the local pharmacy to help your dying mother. It's been a while, we don't know much about what's happening on the surface. If we only had a chance to tune in some emergency radio broadcast, yeah, I wish, I wish. Oh, a phone, a phone booth on our street survived. Yeah, somebody, so, I just need medicine, Timmy. Go oh, help your mother! I am in no condition to leave. Is Mary Jane back? Mary Jane's not back. Timmy, what was outside, huh? I'm gonna die, Timmy. And then you guys are gonna be orphans, okay? When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. Hopefully they'll come help us. Where's your sister? I'm gonna die. And then your father's gonna get what he wants. And I can't let that happen. I hear a knock. Is it your sister or is it your good for nothing father? Cause I don't know. A traveling salesman paid us a visit today. Ooh, medicine, do you have medicine? Okay, so we can only have water? That's it? That's all you got? I mean, sure, we haven't used the checkers once, so take it, I'd rather have the water. Day 20, I think this is the longest I've lasted. Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a few days. It's been too long, we fear something bad has happened to her. Dolores would really love to eat something. <laughs> She's like, my daughter might be gone forever, but you know, I could really go for some soup. I mean, there's only two of us now. We might as well, uh, might as well keep our strength up, Timmy. Okay, well now, Timmy, you have to go out and save your poor dying mother. During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. When we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. It has no address or name on it, but we're pretty sure it's meant for us. Should we open it? Um, hell yeah, there might be drugs in there, Timmy. <laughs> Whether it's the medicine kind or the other kind, I need it. Why is there orange all over me? Oh no, Timmy! Oh, Timmy got the disease! Inside the suitcase, we found some soup, but yuck, it expired a long time ago. We're not feeling very well. Some of us spend the whole morning using the bucket. Oh no. Oh no. Well, now Timmy can't go. Now Timmy can't go on the expedition. Oh wait, Kenny. Oh yeah, hell yeah, Timmy, you go. <laughs> Go help your poor dying mother, even though now you're dying as well. <laughs> this is not gonna end well. I'm really a single, am I even still a single mom or I'm just a single lady now? I don't have my children anymore. I just got you, Gerald. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what, what we'll do if he doesn't come back. I, yeah, I have no idea. Timmy's my last hope. I guess it's just me. I'm just gonna have both and I got nothing. So this is going very well. <laughs> Please don't die. Oh, thank God. Okay. Our time will come, but for the time being, we'll just have to... Who's we? <laughs> Me and Gerald? <laughs> He's my new child. They're here. We're here. Let's just make... They're only cockroaches after all. I'm talking about the cockroaches. Uh, and she's hungry. You know what? We're just gonna feed Dolores again. Maybe that will help her with her illness. It's really weird when you get that feeling that something is watching you. Great! Is something gonna attack me? Okay, I'm still alive. I'm still, still again there. As we were running around looking for something to smash, that furry rodent with it just disappeared. So did one of our food cans. Oh no! All right, well, I'm not hungry or thirsty. Ooh, a group of doctors knocked on your door today to ask them to help requesting some supplies that would be helpful in f filling the fur- <gasps> We don't doubt that they were the real deal for a second. Yes! Please give me a first aid kit, please! A bottle of relatively clean water is the closest we will ever get to hydrogen peroxide. The guests were grateful anyway. Wait, I don't- Wait, I don't get a first aid kit after that? Oh God, I guess I'll have some water. 
Oh, they gotta stay hydrated. I'm gonna die. Where's my good for nothing children? Uh oh. Yeah, I'm not. This isn't looking good. My skin is matching the color of my shirt. My children just up and abandoned me. The sad photo I was on drawing. We haven't done anything about Dolores' sickness. I have. I sacrificed two of my children for it. What do you mean? How long can I survive the sickness? Oh, we found an unsigned letter today. The stranger asked for our help. Apparently there are a few survivors in grave need of supplies and we have a chance to help them. They're saying that we won't regret it. Sure, I just need help from somebody. Somebody help me. I am a single mother to Gerald. I am a grieving single mother. We arrived at the location and met the people who sent the letter. Twin siblings, a brother and a sister. They are taking care of a group of survivors, mostly children, elderly, and injured people who can't scavenge themselves. They told us that they're searching the town for any and all good and decent people in hopes of maybe uniting their strength and making everybody feel safer and cared for. They thanked us and promised to stay in touch. How nice, great. I probably will be dead by the time that you uh, contact us because you're not helping me. Oh God, why is nobody helping me? I know I said I wanted to be a single mom who works two jobs, but I need somebody to take care of me. Gerald! Day 28 has only been a month. Oh my God, Timmy! Oh, Timmy! How is he fatigued and tired? <gasps> Timmy, did you come through for your mother? Oh, but he's dying too now. Oh no, I need to make a decision. <laughs> How many first aid kits did you get, Timmy? We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Thank you, Timmy. Your good for nothing sister died out in the apocalypse wasteland and you came through. You are the chosen one, Timmy. What? He got four cans of soup, four bottles of water, and a first aid kit? Oh my God, Timmy. Can I do both? No, only one of us. <laughs> well, Timmy, I've been sick for longer, so I think that I have less time left. Also, I'm your mother, and if I go, then you're just gonna go anyway. So at least, at least if you go, I still got a shot, all right? And both of us are gonna eat and drink good, Timmy, because you did good today. He asked for some supplies in exchange for a folk song? Uh, no. I keep sharing our stuff and nobody's helping. So no, I'm better, look at me, I'm thriving. All right, now we just gotta help Timmy. Oh my God, I drew a picture of my long lost daughter. I don't know what happened to her. For one can of soup, we can get a bag and all of its contents. Sure, maybe there'll be a first aid kit. Fingers crossed, I don't have a great feeling, but oh my God, we got a cat. Well, good, when Timmy perishes from his illness, at least I can become a crazy single cat lady. Yay, all my dreams are coming true in the apocalypse. <laughs> don't eat Gerald though, okay? Don't eat him. He's important to me, even though he got me sick. But also, do we have to feed the cat? I hope not. As soon as the door closed by, Behind the trader, the bag started to violently shake. When the beast finally escaped, it turned out to be just an angry house cat. Good, I don't have to, okay, I don't have to give the cat anything. The cat will sustain itself with air. If you don't do anything about Timmy's sickness, it might get worse. <sighs> Timmy sacrificed himself to get a first aid kit and, well, let this be a lesson to you, Timmy. You should have just applied the first aid kit to yourself before coming back and you could have told your mother that you didn't find a first aid kit. But because you brought it back, uh, I took it. We're just gonna have have to wait, Timmy. We're just gonna have to wait. I think I think you'll be fine. We're just gonna stay hydrated, Timmy. Gonna stay hydrated. This is definitely the longest I've ever made it in this game. Oh, he ate Gerald. Oh my god, the cat ate Gerald. Mutated cockroaches say hello to our new little friend, Shar Sharkov, the cat. Okay, so the cat killed all the cockroaches, and I am now devastated. <laughs> Gerald, I know you were making us sick, but I loved you. I like I'm just sitting here day after day being like, well, I'm not going outside, Timmy. <laughs> I'm not going out for you. Uh, what you drawing there, Dolores? What are you drawing there, Dolores? No, no, no. All right, we're just gonna keep both of our energies up, okay? While trying to pet the little devil, we found a piece of paper on its collar with an address scribbled on it. We could pay them a visit. Oh, sure. Yeah, take your cat back. I don't need more responsibility. Oh, we're... The cat's gone? Okay, so some men just came and took the cat and didn't give us anything? What? We took good care of their cat! We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks from the retirement home. It shouldn't be hard to borrow some of their supplies. Yeah, let's do that. I need a first aid kit. Day 36, why is there a bloody handprint on the wall? What did you guys do? Oh no, what, 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 what? We are now richer in some supplies, but for some reason, we don't feel very good about it. Let's just never mention this whole thing again. Did you murder a bunch of old people? 
I have a great idea, Timmy. You did so good last time on the expedition that I think we should send you again and you should go to the same place. Timmy, you should go to the same place. <laughs> That can't be good. I just want to know where this handprint came from. All right, let's give you water, and then we're gonna send you back out. I believe in you, Timmy. I believe in you. I'm giving you water here. Take a can of soup, okay? Because we just got a bunch. And don't die, please. Oh, the cat is back. What? To our surprise, we found Shurikov back in our shelter this morning. We're not ex exactly sure why or how it came back. Is it our good care it appreciates? Our kind hearts? Our optimism? <laughs> All right, we will just keep waiting for Timmy. Day 40. Damn. Survivors at the door. They want a first aid kit? Well, that means they don't have one. I don't know. Maybe they got a radio. Can you give me something? I have more soup than water. Take a soup. I just can't get over my motherly instincts. I just need to help people. Except for my own children. Don't worry. I'm crazy cat lady now, though, at least. The cat came back to me. I got a map. Great. Oh, yeah, because we lost the other one with Mary Jane. That never came back. Timmy should have returned by now. We need to face the worst possible scenario. He might not be coming back. Oh God, okay, I'm officially not a single mom anymore. Should I go out? We're gonna ready Dolores for an expedition. It's just me and my cat now. I no longer have a family. I'm just a single lady, just a single cat lady. Okay, I'm just a little tired. That's fine. And we're gonna take, water's more important. Let's see what happens. I mean, maybe I can, oh, time's passing. Oh, oh no. Oh, too many days have gone. Um, is this our door? Who is this? Is that the dad? Is that the dad? What happened? What? I should have just stayed in the bunker. Now the cat, I mean, the cat's just gonna live off whatever down there. She's been living off insects. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. We found our house walls painted with bizarre symbols and profanities. The shelter trap door was locked and the sign above it read, Marlin rules here. Damn you, Marlin. Damn you to hell. Is Marlin my... Wait, is Marlin my husband? Oh no, his name was Theodore. I should know that, he was my husband. <laughs> For a second I was like, my husband? <laughs> he survived? We didn't make it. These are our final words and our advice to anyone who reads this in obscured writing, we survived for 51 days. Wait, so what happened? Our shelter got raided. Oh, oh, okay, I understand. You were driven away. So I didn't die? I just started a new life with the raiders as a single, former single, single mom. <laughs> Yay me, maybe someday I'll find out what happened to my children. <laughs> oh, maybe that's Timmy's arm. <laughs> Leave a like if you want more apocalypse. <laughs>